Welcome to Cyber War, Surveillance and Security. My name is Melissa Deswart. I'm from the University of Adelaide in South Australia. And on behalf of the Cyber War 101 team, I'd like to thank you for enrolling in our course. The team consists of me, Dr. Dale Stevens, and Dr. Rebecca LaForgia, all from the Adelaide Law School. We have assembled an amazing range of resources from around the globe, which we are looking forward to sharing with you. This course reflects a divergence of viewpoints and contexts, and much of what we and our guests will present to you is highly contested material. We don't expect you to agree with everything we have to say, and indeed there is a vast spectrum of attitudes and opinions within the teaching team itself. In fact, we don't all agree on several issues we will consider. But we do want you to have the resources and understanding necessary to equip you with the ability to form your own well-founded opinions and understandings in this area. And we are all agreed that this is an area of vital global importance. To this end, we have assembled a great range of resources and activities, including videos, interviews and interactive activities. One of the key things we want you to start on straight away is the production of a course wiki. We use a lot of jargon in this area and we need you to become engaged in identifying and defining key terminology that is used in the course. You can access the wiki from the menu bar at the top of the page. At the end of each week, we've included a short quiz so you can test what you've learned throughout the week. We have a course Facebook page and a course blog where we will continue to provide links to current issues in this area. Here we have also been sharing photos from behind the scenes of the interviews and links to some interesting articles and videos. So stay tuned for email alerts and updates. In the meantime, here's an overview of how we've organised the course. In week one, I'll be providing you with an overview of how the internet works. We will spend some time looking at the technical and legal aspects of the internet and what these technological specifications and features mean for the development of technologies of communication, surveillance, governance and warfare. In week two, I will discuss the key developments in aspects of hacking, leaking and whistleblowing in recent years, and in particular, the actions of WikiLeaks, the disclosures of Edward Snowden and the online activist world of Anonymous. In week three, Dale will highlight key elements of surveillance and national security, issues covered in the Five Eyes Alliance, the role of international law in regulating state-on-state -state cyber surveillance, the nature of domestic legal frameworks concerning access to metadata and the goals of national security, and a critical assessment of the argument relating to an international right of privacy. In week four, Rebecca discusses surveillance, privacy and political engagement. She will consider the international human right to privacy and how this right influences the public's political dialogue with states and governments around metadata and surveillance. In week five, Dale examines the topics of cyber security and cyber warfare. Issues covered include consideration of the international legal framework relevant to the use of force in relation to cyber capabilities, as well as particular focus on the law of armed conflict and the application of cyber as a means and method of warfare. Finally, in week six, we will all come together to debate the key questions that have emerged from these considerations. We really want you to stay engaged and motivated by the subject matter and look forward to involving you in these debates of significant global concern. So please participate in the course forum discussion as much as possible. Please make sure that you spend some time getting to know how the platform works. Use the menu on the left to click between weeks of the course and the ribbon across the top to navigate through all of the resources in each module. For example, in each part of the module, there will be multiple video resources, so make sure you explore each part of the course as it is released. That's it for now, but I'll look forward to seeing you in week one.